Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here I just got a pock on my face a hive. I just put on these little press-on nails If these last me at least a week and a half I will be a press-on girly because these look so good and they are already painted I had to like you know file them to the right size for each of my nails because I want them to last as long as possible and I use nail glue but like they look so good and they are chrome and they have like a nice natural bend to them. These are from the brand Get Quickies, which I can leave down below. It's another friend of mine who runs this company signed with the same management as me. And she sent me these and I was like, these are amazing. So we will see how it goes. It also matches my top. But anyways, that's not the point. Today's video is something that I thought about recently and I'm really glad I'm doing it because on my Instagram quick plug it's at the Rudy Berry I asked you guys what companies and brands you would want to see a full face of I um do a series where I do full faces of one brand I've done Westman Atelier, Cosa, Say, I haven't done Ilia yet but I will soon, Tower 28, just like all my favorite brands that I have pretty much everything from I will do a full face of and one that I thought of recently um, that has so many bangers for me and that I talk about recent like randomly throughout my videos is Neutrogena. Neutrogena, the skincare brand Neutrogena. I, there have been so many favorites from their skincare and their makeup brands for me in the past year and a half and uh, one of the people that I asked on my Instagram responded back and said they wanted to see a full face of Neutrogena. So to that one person, I got you. We are pretty much gonna be talking about everything that Neutrogena makes makeup wise, from lips all the way down to um, blushes, some new eyeshadows that they have. I will say from researching and looking into the brand and the makeup behind the brand, they very quickly turn out um, makeup and then they close down certain makeup. So like, there are some things that I wanted to pick up that don't exist anymore or uh, some new things that I had never seen before that I think are really cool, like these liquid eyeshadows that I've never seen marketed. So I just kind of want to pick our way through these, see what I think would be worth it or is maybe underrated at the drugstore, and maybe talk about a few things you can skip as well. So. If you're new here, as I mentioned, my name is Rudy. We talk about skincare, makeup, skincare, makeup hybrids. We talk about hauls. We do vlogs. Um, we just kind of do it all. And it's like old YouTube with new makeup. And I would love to have you subscribe. So I've heard you loud and clear that you guys prefer when I go through the makeup and wear it and talk about it while I'm putting it on rather than having the B-roll footage of me putting it on. So we are going to be putting on and chatting as we go through. Um, I do have a hive right here. I don't know what it's from. It's I always have hives. So we're really gonna be putting some of this makeup to the test in terms of redness um, and just how it, how it, how my skin handles that irritation. And we are gonna start off by prepping our skin, lips, and face. And um, let's zoom in for these. We're gonna start with one of my favorite products in this entire lineup and has been a favorite in my favorites and flops recently, which is the Neutrogena Hydrating Lip Sleeping Mask. So I had someone on Instagram tell me that this was like such an underrated lip product, especially because I am a person who really likes the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment, and I really like the Nude Sticks Peptide Lip Treatment. Like anything that's kind of like clear and glossy that goes over liners really well, I love. And I was planning on picking this up, and when I went to, which, disclaimer, I do work with Neutrogena. However, this is not an affiliation with them at all. This is not a sponsored post. I'm not being paid to talk about this, and I picked up a lot of these things, so just keep that in mind. But. Um, this was on the bedside table at Coachella and I used it every single day while we were there and I love this stuff. This is like a purse level lip product. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It has a slight pink tone to it. It's basically clear and it is so nice during the day, at night, paired with a lip liner, doing your makeup prep. It is fragrance free and I just think this is such a good product and I really hope that they keep it. This, I think the benchmark for this product, like the similarity is like the glowy balms from Laneige that are in this tube. So if you like those, you will love this. It is so nice. I wanted to mention another lip product that I picked up from them recently that I wore earlier today. That's not my favorite, but it's not the worst thing in the world. And that is the Moisture Shine Lip Soother. So this is an SPF 20. 
Um, it has a cooling sensation to it, and I have mine in shade Glaze 60. They only had two shades at my store. I love that this is an SBF lip product. It's kind of hard to find good ones that actually feel good on the lips and look good. It's a little bit thicker than this one. There's no SBF in this. And it does leave a slight tint on the lips. This would be amazing in your purse or in your like beach bag, just to like keep it in your beach bag or in your car. Whenever you feel like you might be having too much sun exposure, this would be a great way to have like a nice glossy finish on the lips while still protecting them from the sun. So I don't love this. I still prefer the K-Skin Lip SPF over this, but for the price, it's pretty good. And I like that there is a like reddish and a nude color selection. So am I saying you need to get this? No, I would much rather you pick this one up on my recommendation if you are going to try one of their lip prep type of products. And we'll talk more about like lipsticks and lip balms and all of that at the end of the video. But next we're going to go into my favorite drugstore primer and my favorite primer that Neutrogena makes. And that is the Radiant Primer Plus Serum. This primer is so special. First of all, it's a serum to primer hybrid, boosts the skin for a radiant finish infused with peptides and pearl pigments designed to even the look of skin tone and texture. This is the coolest primer ever. First of all, it's like a true liquid, so it's gonna really hydrate that skin, that top layer of your skin. It has these tiny pearl pigments in it, as you can see. Glowy in the sense of there's like pearl and like um, glitter all over your, your face. It just leaves your skin hydrated and glowy in the way that a person who just got out of like the spa has. It's a very, very watery, lightweight texture. So if that is your jam, you will like this a lot. And it just does such a great job of really prepping the skin for your makeup and rehydrating the skin. Um, I also would say if you are a person who um, likes SPF in their products, we're not gonna be using any SPF in this look. Um, but I do recommend their new uh, mineral UV tint, which has four different shades in it. And I think that this would pair really well with that as well if you wanted a tinted coverage that had SPF in it for, during the day. But today we're using like their more makeup line rather than skincare. So this is what the finish of that product looks like. And it's just sunk into the skin. My skin feels plump, hydrated, ready for foundation. There's a few other um, primers that they make, including one that's more hydrating without the pearls and a mattifying primer. This one is my favorite that I continue to repurchase and it will last you quite a long time. You don't need much to get that sticky hydrated feel on the skin and I love it so much. We're really starting off with like a banger of my favorites. Honestly, my three favorite products from Neutrogena are all the first three things that we're gonna be using. So um, we will get to some fails for sure, but so far I love it, I love this primer and I just gotta say I love the next step as well which is our sensitive skin serum foundation from the healthy skin line this is a pro vitamin b5 based serum foundation I consider this to be a skin tint I have mine in shade light medium 2 it's for sensitive skin it's fragrance free alcohol free free of sulfates all that good stuff and it is just so freaking good this came out i want to say last year and it took me by storm i'll tell you that because i was not expecting to like it nearly as much as i do like i love this product and i actually find that it is a dupe for my favorite skin tint or a similar i don't want to say it's a dupe but it's very similar to the summer friday skin tint which is my favorite. So I'm going to use, they don't have any brushes in the Neutrogena line, just so you know. I'm going to use this brush to buff it in. I am pretty tan right now, so I will say this is probably one or two shades too light for me, but because it is so lightweight, serum-like, and easy to blend, uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue. So here it is, as you can see, even just from that level of blending, which like took no time, that is with it on and this side is with it off. So it just adds like this beautiful, lightweight, glowy finish to the skin, not too much coverage, easy to blend. I don't love the dropper. I feel like I can never get enough product out, but that's kind of with every product that has a dropper. I much prefer a pump. I think this product works well with a sponge and a brush, but I would say better with a brush because it is thin. So that's just kind of a rule, not a rule, but like an unspoken rule if you are 
going to use a really lightweight sort of watery serum like product if you use a sponge you have a high likelihood that it is just going to sink right into the sponge and you won't have any of that coverage on your skin because it will all be sucked in the bottom of the sponge so i prefer to use a brush in those instances um, so make sure that I'm actually getting the product on my face and not just in my sponge. It's another 10 out of 10 for me. I love this product. I think if you are a person who wants to try the Summer Friday skin tint, you're not sure if you're going to like it, you're not sure if you're going to like the coverage level, try this. It has an ounce in it. It will last you a little while. It's plastic, so it's great for traveling, and this duo together is very, very nice. Um, I just can't really say enough good things about those two products, and... Those happen to be the two favorites from our whole video, but we will carry on and keep talking. So next up in the line, we're going to talk about two different concealers. I would say pretty much everything from the Healthy Skin line is something that I enjoy. Um, not as much the Hydro Boost line, but I do like a lot of things from the Hydro Boost line as well. So um, these are all from the Healthy Skin line, these concealers that we're going to talk about. We have the Radiant Cream Concealer, and which I'm pretty sure is the same same exact name as NARS. And then the Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector with SPF 20. So this one has no SPF and the other one has SPF 20. I kind of want to use both because I really like both of these. I've talked about these before, I think in a short or in an older video. So what I'm going to do today is use the brightener for the under eyes and then use some of these to correct some redness around the face. This one I have been surprised by. I just picked it up recently and I've never tried it before, but it's a clicky style pen. It has SPF 20 and that is with titanium dioxide sunscreen. So um, not everyone loves that as a sunscreen that is technically a mineral sunscreen, but um, I really like this product. I will say for me, this shade is not super brightening because I picked a shade too deep for me. This is in the shade buff 09. So I actually like to wear this, um, on days when I'm not wearing any makeup. My tip for no makeup days in terms of like, if you're wanting to wear a no makeup makeup is to choose a concealer that's actually the same color as your skin rather than going lighter with it on those days where you're not wearing a lot of makeup. And it will just camouflage your under eyes into your skin tone rather than like having these big circles under your eyes that are just like white when the rest of your face has no makeup on it. Um, I find that that is the best way to have a really flawless looking under eye is just match your match the rest of your face and then obviously if you want to brighten when you have the rest of your makeup on you can do that but i have been using this as like my everyday i will say with this one i'm noticing a little bit of pilling under the eyes so i do think that this healthy skin brightening eye perfector is better on just like a little bit of skincare and not with a ton of makeup on because it's kind of finicky the other brand here it's still the radiant cream concealer from the healthy skin line and it is a peptide based product i have shades light sugar three and bisque light medium two i don't know which one is lighter they look pretty much identical but i will say this shade range in general runs kind of yellow like i just noticed that a lot of the shades are, are as you can see like they run a little warm sort of like the kosas um, concealers but not quite as yellow but it's always hard for me to find a match in a line that runs really yellow because I have like an olive undertone but it's very neutral and so the yellow just picks up something in my skin that makes me look not right especially when it's under my eyes so I don't really grab for these healthy skin peptide and antioxidant concealer as much because of the shade undertone that being said if you are a person who does have a more like warm yellow undertone to their skin i think you would really like these they have a nice light to light medium coverage which is what i like in a concealer it's just really the shades that don't do it for me and uh i'm now seeing that they don't really layer well with this one so i don't foresee you buying all of the neutrogena makeup like i did <laughs> and testing them one on top of the other so i would just pick one and if you were gonna do one for uh on top of your makeup 
I would have it be the Healthy Skin Radiant Creamy over this one. And then if you wanted to try this one for more of like a no makeup makeup day, it's definitely an option. It just doesn't layer very well with other makeup. Okay, next up is a product that I am just not freaking sure about. I'm just not sure about it. And there are a few products that are out right now in Neutrogena's line that I skipped because I was like, I just, I don't want to make this video a million years long. But recently they came out with um, this line that's called Clear Coverage. And you can see it is a pressed powder and this is meant to be a lightweight multitasking powder formulated with niacinamide green and yellow color correcting powder designed to even skin tone and control shine with a matte finish free from oil, fragrance, paragons, all that stuff. So they came out with a line that has green and yellow color correctors and with me trying to show as many things as I could, I ended up skipping those and I picked up the powder and I have tried this. We're going to try it again obviously and it is straight up green like that is green powder um I tried to put this under my eyes and I looked green under there the shades were already pulling a little green I think this powder is meant to help counteract redness but if you've already used a coverage style product which like I'm trying to get in the middle the yellow part for my under eyes which is even more yellow, then you don't really need a color correcting powder. You know what I mean? I would much rather have like a just regular pressed powder than like this shade of green. Like that is green ass powder. And you know, obviously it does sheer out on the skin, which I have it on right now, but I can still tell in person a little bit that it's looking a little green. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. It's looking a little green. So that one is personally not my favorite um, I think it it does the job of mattifying for sure and it's not super heavy I I like a pressed powder for that reason because they are lighter weight They're easy to apply and take on the go. I would just go for a different powder They actually have shine control powders that are like skin toned. I don't know I just wanted to try this it looked interesting and I've seen a few friends talk about this line in particular, but this one is just not for me. Um, I don't think I will be reaching for that because the color is just way too strong. Okay, moving on. As far as I can tell, this is the only bronzer that Neutrogena uh, offers and it's again from their Healthy Skin line and this is the Healthy Skin Blends Natural Radiance Bronzer and this is in the shade 30 Sunkissed. Designed to give a natural bronzing radiance without the harmful effects of the sun, enriched with vitamin C. You know, all of Neutrogena's products are obviously gonna be skincare focused and um, I can appreciate that. So you can see there's four quadrants here. We have like, I, I wanna say like two cool tone shades, two warm tone shades, and you're supposed to just mix it together and apply it as a powder bronzer. I will say the powder on here is very, very loose. Like it's a pressed powder, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like you will pick up a lot on your brush. So I'm just gonna go in lightly and bronze how I normally do. I'm trying to get all four quadrants on my brush to make sure I'm not getting too much of one shade. And this is just kind of from what I have seen, a classic matte bronzer. I would probably go a shade deeper than this. I like a bronzer that has a little bit warmer and bronzer, not warmer, um, more bronze of a shade, like just a deeper brown than this for me typically in the summer. Um, and this was one of the deeper shades that I saw. It doesn't help that my skin and my face is a lot lighter than my body right now because of that foundation. So I am just gonna kind of take a little bit of what's left over and bronze up the whole face <laughs> just to make sure I'm not looking too crazy because I have a phone call after this. But yeah, I would say this bronzer is nice middle of the road. It's, I would say for beginners because you don't get a ton of pigment on the first kick up. Like you get a lot of powder, but it's not necessarily laying down a lot of pigment. I have been building this up for a little while now and you can see that it doesn't look crazy. So I would say if you are looking for a bronzer that's kind of middle of the road and easy to use and not easy to mess up, um, this might be it for you. Like if you feel like I just don't really know about bronzer, I wanna learn about it without being worried that I'm gonna apply too much, you might like this. I'm saying this is good, it's not great. Like I have my greats and I have my goods and I have my okays and then I have my bads. I would say this is good. I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna continue pulling it out. I think the shade works well for me once I really build it up. It looks pretty natural, has a nice matte finish to it. It's nothing to write home about, but it is an option at the drugstore that I think people should know about. So that is um, our bronzer, and I think it looks really kind of nice. So in terms of blush, 
I think there was just one or two options that I saw. And of course I chose the cream option. This is actually from the um, Hydro Boost line. And this is the Hydrating Multi-Stick. And as far as I can tell, this is the only shade that exists and it's in the shade Temptation. And it's funny because like a year ago, my friend Erica was like, you have to try this, you'll love it. This shade is everything you like in, a, in like a cream product. It's a really nice formula. And I just never grabbed it. So when I started to do this video, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this. Um, it says to, you can use it on the lips, eyes, and cheek. We're just gonna use it on the cheeks today. And it has hyaluronic acid in the formula, obviously because it is from the Hydro Boost line. So you can see, there are certain products that go in the same line. Um, this is from the Healthy Skin line. This is from the Healthy Skin line. They have the same font. This is from the Sensitive Skin Healthy Skin line. So this one also is from the Healthy Skin Sensitive Skin. See how their font is the same? I don't know. I don't understand why they don't just like have everything be the same font, but it is what it is. Anyways. I really like this, no surprise. The color is so up my alley, you guys. Look at this. It's like this gorgeous middle of the road peachy terracotta shade. It's really pretty. I'm going to apply it to my hand and then on a brush. You could easily go in just like this if you wanted to, but because we have powder base right now, I'm not gonna do that. I find that this shade for me is like the perfect little light sunburn sort of look. Um, it's really hard to mess up because it's so pretty and easy to wear. I don't think this is gonna work as well, obviously, on deep skin tones, but they do have a few deeper skin tones on the marketing site for this one. I would love more shades of this formula. It's just a really nice, as you can see, like creamy blush. It's a really nice creamy stick blush, which is honestly kind of hard to come by. I would say like the closest thing to this that I know would be maybe the um, the nude sticks like dewy blushes and um, I love that this is um, Neutrogena and it's at the drugstore and they've made such a good formula so I know it's possible for them to make really good cream makeup and I love this I think it's amazing this is one of my I think you should pick ups from the video and we will get to that at the end but look how easy simple and pretty that looks I love this on no makeup days like this this combo the um, brightening eye perfecter and the cream blush together. It's really, really nice. Again, this doesn't layer super well with other makeup, but if you're just wearing it on its own, it looks really nice. And then I just pop a cream blush on and boom, I feel ready to go. So I love that product, super pretty. Okay, so we are getting into our eyes, our lips, our finishing touches on the face, but there's one thing I wanted to call out um, that I'm not gonna be able to test today that I have tried so hard to get and I haven't been able to get it and I think the universe doesn't want me to get it. And that is this product. This is their Micro Tint Serum Pen. And this is from, I don't know what line it's from because I went to pick up this box and I bought this box and there was no product in it. I literally went to Walgreens this morning just to get this product, opened it, no product. The reason I went back was because I asked Neutrogena to send me like the products I didn't have for this video. And they were like, yeah, totally. And this was one of them and they sent me a not for sale sample of like the packaging that didn't have any liquid in it. <laughs> so this is the second time that I have had like some crazy thing happen where I didn't get the pen. But this is a brow pen and it, it looks kind of nice. Like it looks like what would be similar to the Glossier brow flick. However, I won't be able to test it for you today and they don't have a brow serum or a brow um, like a brow tint they only have this so I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll come back and we'll finish off with the eyes and the lips okay we are back I did my brows with the L'Oreal brow stylist definer and the NYX brow glue this is a good combo and of course I put on some freckles from my freckle pen coming to you this July. Don't worry, we'll keep you updated. We'll talk more about that later. And now we're gonna talk about some eyeshadows. I feel like these are gonna be good. These are the Sensitive Skin Eyeshadow and Primer. Um, all of the Healthy Skin Sensitive Skin line. Pro Vitamin B5 is like the main ingredient in all of these. It comes in three shades. I'm gonna swatch them for you and we'll play around with them. But yeah, these are really pretty. They're very liquidy like very lightweight liquidy. And I will say like it has my favorite shade, which is a taupe with kind of like a glittery finish to it. These are very much a liquid over like a cream. Like they're kind of in between, but more liquidy. 
and the shades are really everyday neutral and very pretty so these are the three shades here the taupe is in warm taupe love love that for us the rose gold is in gonna go ahead and be rose gold and the soft pearl shade is in soft pearl so warm taupe rose gold and soft pearl these are so cute um i love the just like micro glitter from within them and i think they're gonna last pretty well on the eyes i'm gonna use um warm taupe and soft pearl because these are the type of shades i typically go for i'm not really a rose gold girly um and i'm gonna use this random mass brush it's a mac brush i'm just gonna use the warm taupe all over the lid i'm just gonna start with that much and see how it blends and see if we can build and then we will go in with soft pearl on the inner corner but i was wondering yeah like you see how it just blended out into almost like nothingness because it's a liquid so like that was barely anything i'm kind of thinking you gotta like kind of apply a lot to get that shade and i'm wondering if you need to use your fingers because the brush just moved it all around but it didn't really give me any pigmentation which again it's Neutrogena. This is supposed to be more everyday friendly. And I think once this sets, it sets. Um, okay, where did it go? Where'd it go? You saw how much I used, right? Like, where did it go? This is my third layer here. I really thought these were gonna be good based on the swatches. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so they're definitely buildable. They're definitely buildable. And they're definitely uh the barely there look if that's what you wanted let's do one eye and then i'll do the other eye and come back and we'll talk about it i'm gonna use soft pearl here in the inner corn and on the brow bone and i'm just gonna use that same brush since it barely did anything last time i feel like soft pearl has a little bit more pigmentation Ooh, ooh, it's like setting it's like setting okay i'm, I'm figuring this out i think i'll have a handle on my thoughts of this by the other eye all right i'm just gonna speed through this other eye and see if i can get an equal looking shade match okay i'm gonna take a little bit of the pen and just create this little line here to clean up any mistakes and that's okay if mistakes are made that's what concealer's for hmm i don't really know what to think about that i need to think about that a little bit more while we work on some other stuff because it's like i don't hate it and i don't love it and i don't know if i think it's worth your money personally because there are a lot of good eyeshadows out there but there are not a lot of good drugstore eyeshadows so Hard to say, we'll come back to that at the end of the video. Um, moving on to a mascara. This is going to be a true first impression. I have never tried a mascara from uh, Neutrogena and this is from the Hydro Boost line. They had a couple options and this is, I accidentally grabbed a waterproof one, of course. This is the plumping mascara, the Hydro Boost plumping mascara with hyaluronic acid in waterproof. That was my bad. I never usually try waterproof mascaras, but this is the one I picked up. So it is the one we're going to use today. This is a natural bristle wand with like a, I don't know what this shape is, teardrop shape wand it seems like the formula is not super thick and not super thin so i can deal with that i'm going to curl my lashes and we're just gonna go in and see what we think i don't have high hopes i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like if we knew this was good we would know by now as a community <laughs> hmm. here is one eye done i'm gonna just quickly do the other one and then we'll talk all right so she's a little clumpy she's a little clumpy i'm not gonna lie um the formula feels like it's been open for a little while which it hasn't i just opened it today and i don't hate the finish i certainly don't um i'll let you know in the comments or the description how easy the removal is for the waterproof but i certainly don't hate this um, I do think that there are other drugstore mascaras that I like more, but I don't hate this. I've never seen anyone talk about this either, so it's hard for me. I mean, I'm obviously forming my own opinion, but I've not seen a wear test or anything like that, so I certainly don't hate it. I'm not the best judge for all mascaras because I do have very long lashes naturally. I, I use lash serums as well to help, but 
Um, I can tell when a good mascara has the volume and the separation, and I feel like I feel comfortable with this one. It's very fluttery. It's a little goopy thick for me for every day, but I can handle that. All in all, I am feeling kind of cute. So I know this video is getting long. Let's wrap it up with lips and a little setting spray, and then we will talk about some final thoughts. I have um, two different lip products here. I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. I don't know why there's no blue on this when the rest of the Hydro Boost line is blue, whatever. And then I have the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. And I do believe this goes with the Smoothies Smoothers line. Um, I'm gonna use the glosses because I feel like that's what people wanna know about more than these, but I can swatch these for you. They are nice, they're basically a lipstick. Um, they're basically like a more sheer lipstick. And I like them. I realize these shades are almost identical and that is a me problem, not a Neutrogena problem. So this, this one is in the shade Wineberry and this one, I mean, they're almost identical. It's in Rich Raisin, but I mean, you clearly don't need both. That is basically the exact same shade. They look different in the, in the bottle though, or in the packaging. But yeah, you really only need one. So these are the two glosses that I picked up. One is in berry brown. This is not brown at all. It is in fact a pinky nude. And the other one is in pink mocha, which I think is the one I'm gonna wear because I think the other one is going to absolutely wash me out. Um, berry brown, girl, where? Where is that berry brown? That is pink as heck. And this one is in pink mocha. That's the one I'm gonna wear today because I think it will work best with this look. I'm kind of interested in applying a little bit of the Hydro Boost first, just to add a little bit of color to my lips because these shades are light. And these are Hydrating Lip Shine Lips Look and Feel Hydrated for 24 hours. That's thick. That feels nice though. I would say it's more of like a lip cushion than a true gloss. It doesn't have like the stickiness of a gloss, but it doesn't have the thinness and the, the slipability of a lip oil. It feels more like a cushiony type of formula, which I can get behind. I'm looking around trying to think of something similar. I don't really know if I have anything similar, especially with this sort of milky undertone to these products. Um, let's wrap things up. I'm going to use this lastly. This is the Radiant Setting Spray from the Healthy Skin line. Healthy Skin's main ingredient here is peptides. This does have, I think it does have um, fragrance in it because it does have a little scent. Yeah, it does have fragrance. It's a little farther down and I don't love that. I'm really not a fragrance girly, but I am curious to see how it's radiant. That is awful. Spray, I'm melting. <gasps> I'm literally melting. Oh no, 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 no. That is a spray, all right. It ain't a mist. It's a spray. I just doused myself. Jesus Josh Cross. Usually at a time like this, I'd go in with my brush and like set everything down, but I have to wait until my face dries off. Holy shit. Oh, I like, I like sprayed it right up my fucking nose. Oh, that is bad. No sanko. It's like gonna take my fucking freckles off. Dear God. Okay, so this is our finished look with all Neutrogena makeup. I really like it. I think I look super like flawless and pretty. There are definitely some things in this in this look that you don't need that you probably have better ones of, but let's let's go through and talk about which ones I would keep and which ones I would skip. So, our keeps in this video are things that I would highly recommend you grab. Two from the Hydro Boost line, the lip uh lip sleeping mask and the Hydro Boost multi stick. Yes. And then the Peptide Radiant Serum and the Sensitive Skin Serum Foundation, yes. Those are like resounding yeses, you should try them. Just okay, but certainly didn't dislike them. We've got kind of a few here. We've got the lips. These glosses are very nice. The color range is not there, unfortunately. These are some of the darker shades, so I don't like that, but they do feel nice on the lips. This mascara, didn't hate it. Um, I do think like the LA Girl Plush Lash is better and probably similarly priced. And um, I would say the bronzer and the um, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector are both also okay. I don't dislike these and I will probably use them again, but I don't think you need to go out and get them right this second. In our just okay, like kind of not gonna pull them out as much, 
These concealers, um, the color range themselves just does not work well for my skin tone. The color sticks are okay, but I think there are better lipsticks out there with better color selections. And the eyeshadows, it took a lot of work to figure out how to use these. They're so thin um, and they dry down very, very quickly. So they are finicky, which could be hard for people who are just figuring out their makeup journey. And then our absolute nose. We have got, this setting spray is literally gonna douse you and it has fragrance in it. There are way better out there. Like go with the Beekman milkshake over this a thousand percent if you want a radiant finish this color correcting no it's too green it's way too green for a powder and i would say the moisture shine lip soother is just okay i think it's not a, you definitely don't need this out of these products so tell me what you think what do you think about this look um you notice there's no highlighter in this look they don't have any dedicated highlighters but I still think it turned out very glowy. Um, I'm curious to know if you own any of these products or if you plan to pick any of these up now that you have tried um, or now that you've seen them all in action together. And let me know some other brands in the comments that you would like to see a full face of. I could do House Labs, I could do Ilia, probably Nude Sticks, Too Faced. Um, let me know. I'm super curious and I love these videos. Uh, so I will see you in the next one really soon. Bye.